We have won 24 state titles on the varsity level. We've won 10 seconds and three thirds. That's 37 trophies in 43 years. They only give three. And it starts out with about 700 schools. So we're good. Football, basketball, baseball, gotta be good. Cross country, we can make you good. I like these little mighty mites. You look like Sean McNamara. What's your last name? Your boss. You know, in Polish, that means sausage. I'm picking you first because I think you'll say yes and you'll come out and try for three days. This could be the greatest York team in history. The secret of success in life is for a man to be ready when this opportunity comes. This guy is one of the greatest coaches this country's ever had. High school, college, whatever. We have uh, 24 state titles. We're going for our 25th this year. This is my 50th year of coaching. This is the largest team in York history. Yeah, I can't wait to be a part of the team because I like running and I want to get a lot better at it. Just hoping maybe I, my name could be known for like being runner because like, it's one of my passions, like playing saxophone. I learned that that cross country is like life. In life, if you just do what you can do when you got to do it to the best of your ability. The quality of a man's life is in direct proportion to his commitment to excellence, regardless of his field of endeavor. So what you're learning out here, if you're gonna be a pipe fitter, you're gonna be the, the best pipe fitter. If you're gonna be a teacher, you're gonna be the best one. 54, 55, what the hell? what the hell are you doing? 67, God damn it, Nick! If you don't wanna run a state, make just tell me. What the hell are you doing? 68. 67. You just tell me, we'll bench your ass. We don't you. 66. I think he's a coach that raises his voice uh, as easily as he lowers it and, and whispers in, a, in an athlete's ear. You know, no other coach in America in college is going to show you such tender, loving care. Wow, wow. checking out Spazito. <laughs> all right, Arch. <laughs> Myself and two other runners were expelled from York and kicked off the team. I think I really let Mr. Newton down. They were always part of our family, each group. It makes him really upset when one of his boys gets into trouble. And, and it was so hard because we were always you know, forever emphasizing that. Do the right thing. Don't do something dumb. It's nice to be great, but it's far greater to be nice. The team, uh, because of the mistake made by some individuals, was certainly affected. Everybody's accountable. The old timers hold the new guys accountable. And the new guys on the team, they hold each other accountable. So that's good training for life also. Basically what I want to say is that I have never been more embarrassed in my life because I saw you walk. It wasn't even one of these. It was this, walking. And that's ridiculous. Like you said, this is his 50th year coaching. Uh, the man deserves a lot of respect and half of you guys don't give it to him. I, I think Mr. Noon just, he, he brings out the best in all of us in that we, we just become, we become smarter, better human beings uh, while being under him. He's just able to help each and every person and just everyone's different and he's got a way to help each and every person. Uh, what's the count, Lionel? 13 dead? We're coming out of the triangle, man. Woo! It's, it's almost like a ballet, the way they can, he coordinates 200 kids, which is one of the things that always interests me personally. Um, how do you keep how do you keep the the 110th kid on your team to feel like he's part of the team? Get him and keep him working, so that maybe two years from now he's going to be uh, maybe an integral part of your team, or if nothing else, he's going to hit say it's one of his best experiences he ever had. He felt like he was part of a championship team. How do you do that? This is what it's all about. You've trained all these months, all summer, and the dog days of summer. And you know what it is today? It's man on man. It's York 
and Glenn Bard shouts. Anyway, nobody else bought it. Yeah, I just want them to be fighters on race day. They just gotta go out there and they gotta be warriors and do whatever it takes to finish as high as they can. If they're hurting, you know, you just gotta push through stuff like that. Everyone in the race is hurting, so it's not just you. So it's a man on man. If you got the willpower, I want twin two to be the best number one guy. I want twin one to be the best number two guy. I'm a little worried about my varsity because I'm afraid they've been reading the newspapers and the newspapers have got the trophy at York already. Unfortunately, you don't get the trophy until November 5th. So we got a lot of work to do and we aren't a shoe in. I guarantee you that. But I think these guys will do the work and we'll get the job done. But nothing in life is guaranteed. Be like Sebastian Coe. Be fearful today that you're going to waste all these months of training because you got a mini brain. Run free today. Welcome back to the 60th IHSA Cross Country Camp.